them <laughs> all by myself. Don't wanna be all by myself. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, before I get started, will y'all do me a favor and like the video? You don't even got to subscribe and share, but can you just like the video? That would be nice. I would, if you like it. If you don't like it, you can put a thumbs down, but just do something. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Listen. Okay, y'all wanted me to do a follow-up of this story, and I have it. I have it for you right now. So sit back, hold on tight, put your, buckle up, put your seat belts on, and let's ride. <laughs> this is too crazy. All right. Daughter, forgive me. Weeping birth mom who gave up Ukrainian dwarf denies U.S. adoptee is an adult sociopath masquerading as a child and reveals she is still only 16 years old. Daily Mail investigation into the case of the Ukrainian dwarf adopted by an American couple has led to a discovery that her birth mother, I mean of her birth mother, the adoptive parents, Natalia Barnett, Christine, and Michael Barnett, have been charged with neglect for moving to Canada without her. They claim that Natalia is actually a grown-up with a violent, with violent tendencies, pretending to be a child because of a severe psychiatric illness. But Anna Volodymyrna Gava, 40, from the southern Ukrainian city of Mykolia tells Daily Mail TV that she had put up Natalia for adoption 16 years ago due to her condition. Anna said, I suffered to give birth to her. Doctors showed her to me and immediately told me that the girl shouldn't be taken home. She had a complex pathology. Short little legs, short little arms. She had no neck. Daily Mail viewed a document at the orphanage where Natalia was kept that proved that the baby was admitted in October 2003. Anna hopes Natalia will one day make the journey back home. She said, I really want to see her. I hope that when she turns 18, she goes to Ukraine and finds me. I would like to hug her and apologize. Now, this is the birth mother. Um, wow. The Ukrainian birth mother abandoned Natalia Barnett has been found by Daily Mail TV and she has sensationally denied claims that her daughter is an adult sociopath masquerading as a child in an emotional interview. Three-foot-tall Natalia, who suffers from a rare form of dwarfism, is at the center of an extraordinary criminal case that has seen her adoptive parents, Christine and Michael, charged with neglect for moving to Canada without her. The Barnett said they are the true victims. However, a legend that the cute six-year-old they adopted in 2010 was actually a violent grown-up pretending to be a child because of a severe psychiatric illness. But in a drama dramatic intervention that threatens to derail the parents' defense, biological mom Anna Lodomina Gava has broken her silence to defend Natalia after exhaustive search by Daily Mail TV to track her down. So Daily Mail tracked this woman down and the woman said, I know exactly how old she is. 
Anna Forty told Daily Mail TV through a translator from her home in South Ukraine, city of Mokolov, near the Black Sea. This girl is my daughter, who was born 16 years ago. Doctors told me to leave the baby, leave her, don't ruin your life, they said. Both them and my mom told me to leave her. They said the baby would never be good, that she would never be able to move, that she would be chained to a chair or to a bed. Anna continued, she now lives in America with adopted parents who want to ditch her. I thought everything was okay with her, and it turns out that everything is not okay at all. The birth mom of Ukraine dwarf denies she is actually an adult masquerading as a child. Anna uh, from the south of Ukraine says she had to put her up for adoption 16 years ago and it was only due to her condition. Natalia who is 3 foot tall suffers from a rare form of dwarfism in the, and she's at the center of an extraordinary criminal clay, case that has seen her adoptive parents move uh, to Canada without her and then be charged with neglect. Anna has four other kids she shared with the Daily Mail and deeply distressed story of how she felt forced to surrender her newborn daughter because of the child's severe disability. Wiping away tears, she made a heartfelt plea to Natalia, saying, Daughter, please forgive me for what happened 16 years ago. Visit soon for me to see you. Picture Anna walking with her first daughter while pregnant with Natalia. Um, Anna, who had divorced the baby's father before her birth, says she later learned that social services named the girl Natasha, a Ukrainian variation of Natalia. Natalia's biological mother said Anna Gavin with husband and Natalia's father and and Natalia's father Vadim and they had a first baby girl who was normal. She added I've learned that they tried to put her in a mental facility twice. That she wanted to poison to kill someone. That's what I read on Pfeiffer. And I, I was sent it and photos of her parents. The mother of four other kids has shared with the Daily Mail the deeply distressing story of how she felt forced to surrender her newborn daughter because of the child's severe disabilities. Wiping away tears, she made a heartfelt plea. Daughter, please forgive me for what happened 16 years ago. We are waiting for you. You have two brothers and two sisters. Anna, who had divorced the baby's father before her birth, says that she later learned that social services named the girl, of course, Natasha. I just read that. A Daily Mail TV reporter saw a document of the orphanage and it was legitimate. Um, so then you go from there. Um, let's see. Uh, the baby was um, a variation of Natalia. The reporter saw a document at the orphanage that proved the baby was admitted in October 2003. They were not permitted to copy or pit to copies of picture it. According to the prosecutors, Natalia was indeed a minor child and dependent of the Barnett's when they rented her an apartment in Lafayette in 2013 before leaving town and breaking off contact. The couple who have since divorced admit moving to Canada without her so their oldest son, Jacob, a physics prodigy with autism, could attend university there. But they insist that by then, Natalia was legally considered an adult 
after they um, obtain an emergency court order the previous year to revise her birth date from September 2003 to September 4th, 1989. Uh, today, depending on whom you believe, Natalia is either a 30-year-old woman or a 16-year-old trapped in a legal limbo that prevents her from even attending high school. Her biological mother is insistent, however, the court made a terrible mistake and that her daughter has never, ever lied. She has an especially vivid memory of the distressing events, distressing events of September 4th, 2003, when she gave birth to Natalia at 6.25 a.m but felt forced to surrender her immediately because of the child's severe disability. I thought everything would be fine. And when I had an ultrasound done, I was told that we were, that there were, so to say, no option, that the child would be disabled. I suffered for over a day to give birth to her. Doctors showed her to me and immediately told me that the girl shouldn't be taken home because she had a complex pathology. Short little legs, short little arms, and no neck. In a nutshell, they told me to leave her, and that's what I did. The doctor said, I am not recommending that you take her with you. You are still young. Perhaps it will be fine in the future, and you will give birth to other children. And that was it. I did not see my baby girl again after that. Anna, who had divorced the baby's father before her birth, says that she later learned that social services named the girl Natasha. Natasha was placed in an orphanage where she remained for five years until officials contacted Anna to say uh, she was about to be reportedly adopted by an American couple. They showed a photo on the camera and asked me not to interfere with the adoption. Anna, whose other children were named Miss Krolov, Kira, Yulia, and Deniska. They told me there were good people in America. They would pay for everything. The child would be normal. I was told that they would do her uh, surgery, which I wouldn't have been able to afford. They said that the surgery cost some $80,000. Of course, I'm not excusing myself. What I did was wrong, too, for ditching her, leaving her 16 years ago. Hmm. Anna asked uh, Anna asked Daily TV asked Anna to review the uh, photographs of Natalia Barron to try to rule out the possibility of another female had assumed the child's identity. But she insisted Natalia and Natasha was the same girl, adding, she's like me, the way I was in my childhood. Um, why did they decide that she was older than according to the documents? They demanded to know. It is clear that this child does not look older. You, the Barnetts, were saying and swearing that you helped the child, but it turns out that you didn't do anything. Why are you leaving an underage child and say that she's older than she is? Daily TV Mail has learned independently that Italia arrived in the U.S. in 2008 with paperwork stating she was named Gava Natalia um, Vladimir Minba and was born September 2003. <clears throat> The documents listed her mom's name was Gava Hanna and said that she had been abandoned at the hospital of Makoi due to the affection of her bone muscular system with no parents or other relatives visiting or interested in her. Natalia was initially adopted by a New Hampshire couple called Dylan and Gary Osion. 
Amici Cohn, who this week told the Daily Mail they did not want to discuss their time with her at all. Hmm. By the spring of 2010, Natalia was in the care of an adoption agency in Florida who offered Christine and Michael Barnett the opportunity to adopt her. Parenting author Christine and her 43-year-old ex were eager to have Natalia, despite learning she had Spondo Metro, that's a hard name, dysplasia, and inherited bone growth order that means she could no, grow no taller than a toddler. But they claimed that as soon as they harbored doubts about her age is when um, she noticed that Natalia had pubic hair and was having periods and possessed a vocabulary way beyond her years. When the alleged began to suffer mental problems, the Barnett said they sought the advice of experts who agreed in 2012 that she was likely far older than that the birth certificate suggested. That same year, Christine and Michael Barr, Barnett said that they lodged an emergency petition with the Marion Superior Court to have Natalia's date of birth revived so she could get the appropriate treatment that she needed as an adult. But by then, Christine Barnett alleges in an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail that Natalia attacked other kids, poured bleach in her coffee, had threatened to stab family members, and hide their bodies in the backyard. She was standing over people in the middle of the night. You couldn't go to sleep. We had to hide all the sharp objects. I saw her putting chemicals, bleach, Windex, something like that in my coffee. And I asked her, what are you doing? She said, I'm trying to poison you. Jeez. The media is painting me out to be a child abuser when in all reality, there is no child here. Prosecutors see things very differently, however, accusing the couple of felony neglect by endangering the life and health of Natalia. Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Y'all, tell me what y'all think about this. So she is 16, huh? The birth mother is coming out if this ain't one of the most bizarre stories I've ever heard. I mean, 